The reunion dinner on the eve of the Spring Festival is a big feast to commemorate the blessings of the past year and hope for a prosperous one in the next. This is the most important time to be with families. Also called Nianya Fan, the reunion dinner happens on the eve of the Spring Festival. What makes this dinner special is that the food served is not only delicious, but is also filled with deep meaning and symbolism. My fondest memory is uh, uh, one is called uh, Ta Hui. That's in my wife and wife's house uh, because during Dan San Shi, it's like uh, the day before Chinese New Year, lunch. We have to go to my wife and wife's house, and the dinner we will go to my ye ye nai nai's house. My ye ye nai nai is the, my grandparents and my father's side. Uh, of course, in my ye ye nai nai's house, their special food is hong uh, sao yu. Uh, of course, the fish is the most important food on that day. Mm, what's your favorite? Dumplings and steam dim. Okay. Oh, dumplings and steam dim. Yes, definitely. Uh, because she is the one who make it. <laughs> yes, she make the dumpling and the steam limbo very nice. Especially like the dumpling, all my Chinese friends, even all my students, they all love it. They love the dumpling she make. Mm, definitely, it's joyful because this is traditional Chinese food. Made by a Filipino. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and uh, you know all my family they love it. Uh, my son, my daughter, of course us. Even all even all her relatives they love our traditional Chinese food. Nian Gao, a kind of Chinese cake made with sticky rice. It is said that it is lucky to eat this food because in Mandarin the name sounds like Nian Nian Gao Shang or to be promoted year after year. So, if you want to improve your status in the coming year, you should definitely eat Nian Gao. To many Filipinos, this cake is more commonly known as Tikoi, which is derived from its Hokkien name, Tike, or sweet cake. Its sweet taste and sticky texture traditionally symbolize sweet and close relations of the family. Jiayao Zhe, or Chinese dumplings, what makes this food lucky is their shape, which resembles Chinese ingots. Chinese people eat Jiayao Zhe on New Year's Eve at exactly 12 o'clock. Having plenty of dumplings signifies wealth and prosperity. The more you eat, the wealthier you become. Wrapping Jiayao Zhe is usually one of the activities that bring the family together. Traditionally, the whole family works together in the kitchen to wrap as many dumplings as possible. Dumplings can be filled with meat, vegetables, or mushrooms, and can be wrapped in various ways. It's a type of dish where each can express their creativity and the family's unique identity. In some families, they play a type of game using dumplings. During the wrapping, the mom will hide a coin in one of the dumplings. When eating time comes, whoever gets it will be the luckiest person of the year. The Spring Festival is a time for Chinese to reunite with their families and celebrate the new year with joy. While millions of thousands of families bid farewell to the Year of the Arts and welcome the Tiger, most overseas expatriates are bravely holding on to their work with due diligence. Especially in recent years, people travel less because of the pandemic. However, even when people cannot meet physically, there is always something they can share with one another or in reality. Have a guess? You are right. As a proverb goes in English, bread is the stuff of life. We also have one in Chinese, 民以食为天, meaning nothing is more important than food. Although China is a vast country that the tradition for spring festival can be so different in regions, there are still something in common. In northern part of China, jiaozi or dumpling is a must-have for the New Year's Eve. While in the south, people would love to have soup with lots of ingredients. Before the pandemic, 
we expats will get together and make dumplings by ourselves for Spring Festival. It is a traditional lucky food in China. Wait a minute, what's smelling so nice? There, it's one of the signature delicacies from our pantry. It's called longevity and beauty soup. It tastes like Michelin star cuisine. This is what I've told you, in southern part of China, people love to have soup with various ingredients. So what's inside? This is a double boiled soup with dendrobium canidum, Qingyuan chicken, and fish maw, together with Chinese date, wolfberry, and dried scallops. Dendrobium is a type of orchid. The plant consists of a long, thin stem like this one. But the dendrobium is gold yellow in color. The stem is used in herbal remedies and is exactly what we put in our soup. In traditional Chinese medicine, dendrobium is used primarily to replenish fluids. It is commonly used as an ink tonic to moisten the stomach and lungs. We have some more fun facts here. Traditional Chinese medicine and diet both originated from the practice and experience in daily life. That is how it makes curing by food or medicated diet. It is believed to have not only the efficiency of medicine, but also the delicacy of food, and might be used to prevent and cure diseases, build up one's health and prolong one's life. For example, this longevity and beauty soup may help to enhance our immune system and help us to fight the COVID-19 virus. Stewing with chicken and fish maw smells so good and tastes delicious. Let's have a try. No spring festival dinner is complete without a serving of fish. There is a Chinese saying that goes, Nian Nian Yu Yu, and fish in Chinese is called Yu, and it sounds like the word Yu, which means surplus. So, if you eat fish, you are wishing that every year you will have excess, wealth, and prosperity. But take note, when eating fish, do not flip it over to get the meat on the other side, or else you will be reversing your fortune. A fish turned over looks like a boat that capsized, and you don't want that to happen to you. Glutinous rice balls that are usually consumed on the 15th of Spring Festival, known as Yuan Zhao Jie, or the Lantern Festival. Yuan Zhao Jie is also the first night of the year when the moon is full. And so these white round balls sort of evoke the full moon in the sky. These glutinous rice balls have two names, Yuan Jiao and Tang Yuan. Both have slight differences depending on where they are made. Yuan Jiao are more common in the north and are made by rolling the ball filling on dry rice flour, repeated until it reaches the desired size and shape. Tang Yuan are made by wrapping the filling in a kneaded rice flour dough, much like a regular dumpling. These different methods cause the two to appear slightly different. Yuan Jiao appear lumpier and more textured, while Tang Yuan are smoother. There is a slight difference between the Tang Yuan in northern China and southern China. It's salty, small, and without filling in southern China, while it is bigger with sweet filling in northern China. Regardless of the method, both boiled like dumplings and are served with a flavored broth that complements the filling. The classic rice ball is filled with black sesame and sugar. Some have peanuts, osmanthus flowers, red bean, lotus seed, or walnuts. There are also savory versions that are filled with meat, vegetables, and mushrooms. Tang Yuan because of its shape and pronunciation symbolizes togetherness of the family and sweet fillings are preferred during the Lantern Festival as it also symbolizes the sweetness of life. There are eight Kyushu's Chinese food. They are different, a more fantastic flavor. So is the Chinese Spring Festival food. Normally, the reunion eat dinner is very abundant with at least eight to 10 dishes, but one dish is always part of the dinner, no matter in the south or in the north, that is fish. Because in Chinese, the fish is yu, the same pronunciation with abundance, yu. That means we have abundance foods in every year. 
Nowadays, almost some of the young generation cannot cook so well, so they go to the restaurant to have a union dinner. But the food and the menu is also the same. One of the most well-known Chinese foods worldwide is actually a traditional spring festival dish. Si Hun Jian, or spring rolls, symbolize wealth as their shape resembles gold bars. So make sure you make them big so that you'll attract more wealth. Many of us know that noodles are a favorite dish served on birthdays, but they are also considered lucky for spring festival. Noodles symbolize longevity, so the longer the noodles, the longer the life. So, slurp them whole, don't bite them. In our next episode, 